Boucher with Deep Roots Dance, and I'm coming to you live from my bedroom today, of all places, to share with you some finger symbol patterns that I thought you might enjoy learning. In American Tribal Style Ballet Dance, which is the root of the dance style that I teach and perform, we primarily use triples. Uh, there's a couple other patterns that come in here and there, but for the most part it's uh, triples in our performances. And finger symbols are really a musical instrument. There's a lot of possibility in playing our finger symbols, a lot of really interesting rhythms that you can play with. So I thought I'd share with you some of my favorites today that you could practice at home. And we also build this into an old school tribal finger symbol choreography that you can uh, play these along with movement to create a performance piece or be inspired to create your own. So I have a couple of rules when I'm practicing my finger symbols at home. Number one is to remove distractions. So we're in my bedroom for a couple of really great reasons. One is acoustics. You're gonna be able to hear me a lot better um, without it echoing off the walls. The bed and the pillows kind of absorb any echoing of the finger symbols. But the other great side effect is that I have two doggies who really like to be with me throughout the day when I'm at home. Um, and they really wanna get in the picture and get in the way and they wanna be pet. <laughs> There's always something that's demanding my attention. So I put them in another room so that I can work uninterrupted. So for you, if you have a significant other or a roommate or children or pets who you think might prove to be a distraction, just remove yourself from them or remove them from you so that you can really work without any interruption and focus on your practice. The other rule that I have is practice how you perform. And that just means that when I'm sitting here on my bed playing, that I have good posture and good breathing practice. So I'm not hunching over, I'm not allowing myself to collapse down. I'm not watching my finger symbols, because certainly in performance we can't watch our finger symbols, we're projecting to our audience. So practice chin up, eyes up, rib cage up. Um, certainly the sooner you can walk and move around is better. For today, I'm just gonna be working sitting. So you're gonna see in our practice today that I am right hand dominant. So that means my right hand is going to be doing a majority of the work today. For instance, in our triples, I play right, left, right, right, left, right. If you're left-handed, you're just going to want to transpose that and play left, right, left, left, right, left. Wherever there's a right, there's a left. Wherever there's a left, there's a right. So let's start with a little warm up, just playing our triples that most of us are familiar with. If you're not, there's a lot of resources out there on the internet. I felt like it would be redundant of me to uh, put that up. Certainly if you have interest in hearing me break it down, I could make another video at another time for you. But uh, for now, I encourage you to go to YouTube and find some basic playing practices uh, to work before you add on these more complex rhythms. So for now, we're gonna assume that everybody knows triples. So my hand is right, left, right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Military is another pattern that we sometimes use in American Tribal Style Belly Dance, so you may already be familiar with it. Just in case you're not, it's written 337. Spoken 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For me, that's right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
So tying into the military, we have those running sevens at the end, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That can be a pattern in and of itself that we'd simply call running sevens. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try that nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Belly knee is a pattern that we rarely play in American tribal style belly dance, but it's a pattern that we're actually really, really familiar with. Once you start to play it, you're going to hear it a lot more in your music because it's everywhere. Belly is the heartbeat of a lot of the folk music that we listen to and dance to in American tribal style belly dance. So I think it's really important to learn to play it so you can start to hear it better and respond to it better as a dancer. So the way Belody is written is three, one, three, one, three. So those threes are just like our triples in the way they're played in that they are right, left, right. So they always start and end with our dominant hand. The ones are also played on our dominant hand. So for me, three, one, three, one, three spoken is right, left, right, 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 left, right, 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 left, right, right, left, right, 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 left, right, 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 left, right. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. So let's play that nice and slow. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, right, left, right. Right, right, left, right, 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 left, right. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three. My favorite pattern in all of these is the fives. Five fives. <laughs> so what I love about this is that it really syncopates over the top of the rhythm. So those fives kind of land in a different place every time. So unlike our triples that fall on the beat every time, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, our fives are going to fall a little bit off every time. So spoken it's one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So another interesting thing about our fives is that unlike our triples, which start on the and a uh, before the downbeat, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, our fives start on the downbeat. So if we have our rhythm going, one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So you hear that breath in between the five fives? So I do that run of five fives, and then there's a 
a pause, a break in between. And it's really kind of fun. It's, it's a moment of um, suspension, a moment of anticipation before that rhythm comes back in. So we're gonna try this nice and slow, and I want you to talk it with me first. So I'm gonna clap it out, and I want you to talk through those fives with me so you can really start to get the sense um, in your body. And certainly if you feel that you can clap along at the same time, it really helps you to solidify the pattern. One, two, three, four, five. 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 All right, so we're gonna give that a try with our finger symbols. If you lose your place, just wait until the end, wait for that breath, and come back in with your first five again, okay? One, two, three, four, five. 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 So that's it for our finger symbol lesson for today. I hope you found those patterns as interesting and fun as I do. Uh, be on the lookout for the video with the old school tribal choreography which pairs these rhythms with dance moves so you can have a whole finger symbol uh, choreography drill to practice with. And thanks for watching. Again, I'm Shane Moore with the Fruits Dance. Happy dancing.